Right now at 3 o'clock, three people are dead in Tennessee and more deaths are expected after the remnants of Hurricane Helene dumped several inches of rain in East Tennessee last week. You are looking at new footage right now from the devastation that Governor Bill Lee shared. Tima says more than 100 people are still missing out there. Thousands of people don't have power. We're told 400 TDOT workers are evaluating the damage. 14 state bridges are closed. Five are destroyed. Officials say they're concerned about the damage to the public drinking water infrastructure at Greenville Water System and at Newport. TEMA officials say they were not forecast to see this much damage from Helene, which is why the governor did not ask for federal funds until Friday. Now, at a plastics company in Unicoi, friends and family say six employees are still unaccounted for. Our Dryden Quigley talked with two of their family members today. They're desperate for answers as to where their loved ones are, Dryden. Yes, Tracy, four of those missing from Impact Plastics in Unicoi are these women who come from a tight-knit Mexican community. They say they were told four bodies have been recovered and they're waiting to hear who they are. For Guadalupe Hernandez, she says her sister, Monica Hernandez, went to work on Friday morning as usual. She then received a call from her around 10.30 saying Monica was in the factory and it was starting to flood. During the call, her sister says she said goodbye to her children in case she couldn't be saved. She says the water started to get in. The only thing she told me was she was standing on top of her van and then she had to get on top of a trailer. That's the last thing she told me. Checked all the hospitals and still have had no sign of Monica since Friday. They were told by police it will take three to four days to identify the bodies they found using dental records. The family says they plan on waiting at a church in Unicoi until they learn more. Coming up tonight, we hear from the family of another missing woman and why the county says it took longer for emergency services to respond to the plastics factory. Dryden Quigley, WSMB4. Oh, that is devastating news. Dryden, thank you so much. And if you are looking for a loved one in the East Tennessee region who might have been impacted by the storm, there's a number you can call. You see it right here, 1-800-TBI-FIND. They can help you find where your loved ones are. We are now getting a glimpse from Nashville Fire Department's contribution to the rescue efforts in East Tennessee. Tennessee's helicopter aquatic rescue team helped out in Irwin over the weekend. The team rescued at least 25 people from flood conditions we know. They transported supplies to other first responders in the area as well. Tons of people eager to step in to help after Hurricane Helene, including two mid-state women who tell our Danielle Ledbetter they saw all the devastation and they just had to do something. The women say they determined the biggest need for people impacted by Helene is water. So they've already collected what you see right here, and they're hoping to collect a lot more by Wednesday morning. That's when the supplies will be delivered to Carter County, Tennessee. Until then, Tori Thomas and her friend Chastity Short are collecting donations at the tractor supply in Ashland City. The women organized this supply drive with officials to determine what was needed. Tima warns not to send items on your own that have not been requested by authorities. Thomas shares what prompted them to put this effort together. I don't know, I think it's just the person I am, she is, you know, it just uh, pulls, the whole, ish, the whole thing pulls it up my heart. It's just something that I felt the need that had to be done. They'll collect donations until 6.30 today and from nine until five tomorrow. Still ahead at four, what you can do to help those impacted by Helene. Danielle Ledbetter, WSMV4. At least 119 people are dead across six states now due to the aftermath of Helene. Now, we just told you it was blamed for three deaths here in Tennessee, but North Carolina was hit so hard by the storm. You're looking at a lake. That's a lake filled with wooden debris from all that flooding. Water levels reached several feet nearing the tops of street signs in Asheville. More than 200 people have been rescued from the waters there. And some neighbors are coming back now that the waters receded. I drive those roads all the time and I just couldn't even, I couldn't even picture where we were anymore. Um, and just knowing that nobody is ever going to be able to live there probably. Most of the people who have built their lives there aren't going to be able to finish their lives there. And it's just really horrifying. Dozens of people have been reported dead in North Carolina as a result of all this.